Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you how to reproduce this disintegration effect I used in one of my recent uploads in YouTube. That was a fashion short commercial and uh, in that occasion I used this effect. Click the subscribe button and enable the notification with the bell icon so you won't miss any future videos. So this is the footage we're going to use and uh, as you can see this is just a simple zooming in of the camera toward the model. Right, so in order to achieve this effect, we need three things. We need a transform effect, we need a wave warp effect, which is exactly, which is the effect that is giving the um, disintegration-like effect. And then we need sound engineering. Sound is very important when you want to sell in visual effects. And so for that, we're going to use some uh, audio clips that is going to help us to make the effect even more realistic. So let's start with the transform effect. I'm gonna just make a little bit more space here in the timeline and then jump into the effect, transform, and I'm gonna drag this effect into the clip. Let's move a few frames of, uh, ahead, setting a keyframe for the scale. And the first thing we're gonna do with the transform effect is to give a heartbeat effect, a bounce effect. So zoom in, out, in, out very quickly. That's gonna, it's gonna help to sell the disintegration effect a little bit better. So the first thing I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna move two frames forward and then zoom in, say 112, and then one frame more, zoom out, 95. And then I don't really care that the frame becomes um, so small that it doesn't cover the edges, it's fine. I'm happy with that and we will add some motion blur which is I think it's gonna be more visible if there are these black bars, these fl black framings around. Right, so with this one, I'm gonna move one more frame forward and then zoom in again. And then last is two more frames back to 100%. And right now, this is what we got. As you can see, this is quick heartbeat bouncing effect. Now, the problem I have with this is that, let me zoom in here and go frame by frame, is very harsh. There is a zoom in, zoom out, and uh, it's happening very harshly. So to make it smoother, I need to add some motion blur. And to enable motion blur in the transform effect, you just uncheck use compositions shutter angle, and then you make sure to have a shutter angle of 180 degrees. As Soon as I do that, now look here what's gonna happen and let me make it a little bit bigger so you can easily see what's happening as I move frame by frame. As you can see now as it zoom in, it does introduce motion blur. Now you can clearly see the motion blur. This is what I meant before. As you can see the black background and the motion blur are selling this very well. And so right now this is what this effect looks like. As you can see, it's much more organic. It's much more, it looks much more natural. Right, let's make a little bit more space and fold this back. And now apply the second effect, which is the wave warp effect. I'm gonna drag this guy in here and I'm gonna set, I'm gonna set the wave height to zero, width to 10. Direction 90 is fine, wave speed, and all the rest stays as is. Uh, wave type, I wanna set it to noise. Now, I need to play some uh, um, synchronization in between the wave warp and the transform effects. And the thing I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna jump right in between these two. So it's when the transform is finishing, and this is where I'm gonna trigger the wave height to 25 and maybe one frame before the wave height the wave height is going to be zero so as you can see there is this heartbeat effect and then when we're back it's like we are kicking in with the wave effect and then moving down like two seconds maybe two seconds and a half I'm gonna set back the height to zero. So we're back to normal. 
Now, I want to play this effect very smoothly and so I'm going to do something here. First of all, let me make some space. So I'm going to transform. I want to make sure that you guys can exactly see what's happening when we play around with these things because it's very important to understand what happened. Okay, here we are. So I'm going to select the first keyframe, which is when the effect starts, and I'm going to make it an easy out. As you can see, this is giving me a handle I can use to decide how smooth or harsh, quick or slow the effect is going to be um, developing across time. And then the second effect, I'm going to make it an easy in. Again, I'm going to get an handle. And right now I'm going to give this like a normal looking curve. I'm going to twirl, close this one and I'm going to have a look at what the effect now looks like. And we have the bump and then the effect. And this is fine. Now the only issue I have is the effect is applied only vertically. So there is no dynamics going on. This is just the effect starting at 25% um, of height and then slowly going down to zero. Uh, I need to add some dynamics. And the way I do that is I'm going to go back to the first, the second keyframe here for the wave height. Then I'm going to play with direction. So direction here is going to be um, 90. So I set the keyframe here. And then in the end, which is there, I'm going to do four times zero. Basically, this is going to take the noise effect and uh, it's gonna move in it in uh, on a circle. Let me show you what it means frame by frame. So if you look here, you will see that it starts vertically and then frame by frame, you can clearly see that this is like rotating and it's slowly going into disappearing until bam, it disappears. So far, this is what the effect looks like. As you can see, it's slowly going down. Now, it's the wave height is going crazy because there is a bump here. So it starts at, um, as you can see here, it starts at 25, but then it grows to 30, which is way too much for my taste. So I'm just going to take it down. And I'm taking it down by this handle and I'm taking it down like so. So right now we've got to get this much better. Now there is the final part of it, which is the sound. Now, sounds help to sell this effect very, very well. And in order to do that, let me enable the first sound. This is the first sound, what it sounds like. It's like some static effect. And this is the second. It's the same piece of audio, but it's different parts. And I'm going to put the link to this YouTube video in the description down below, so you can go ahead and um, use the same uh, audio effect I'm using here. All right, so I'm going to copy these two guys, and I'm going to paste them right at the beginning of the uh, clip and we'll see if that's it. So what's happening is that the first effect is helping to sell the heartbeat, the bounce effect, as you can see here. And the second effect is giving that kind of noise, glitchy, uh, which is helping the disintegration. I hope you like this video and you learned something new. Uh, please leave a comment down below to let me know if there is any topic you would like me talked about. Uh, otherwise, feel free to subscribe, like, share, peace and love.